just gone five o'clock on Monday the 6th of November. Yes. And we've been very busy today, haven't we? Yes. So busy, I've even forgotten to switch the camera on. Yes. <laughs> that's him. And that's him. Curled up on the settee, the couch next to me. Ian's cooking dinner. What are you cooking? Sausages. Yes. Baked beans. Yes. A scrambled egg. Right. And we've got bread and stuff as well to dip in and that kind of we thing have. and make whatever we want to. Yeah, it's been a funny old day. Oh, that light's a bit bright. <laughs> it's been a funny old day. Um, I can't even, if you ask me, I couldn't tell you what I've done. But I know it's been busy and I know I've been very productive. Just one of those type of days. It's Tuesday, the 7th of November, 9.30. Started early. I'm on my third cup of coffee already. As you can see, Ian's been out in the garden um, clearing up the leaves from, um, or fallen leaves, that have tried to take over the lawn. But, oh, I just need to keep up with it and um, do it every so often to make sure that when winter comes, you know, the lawn does get a chance to breathe and doesn't get buried under a sea of leaves and it dies over winter, which sometimes does happen if you just leave them to cover. So I didn't have a very good night sleep last night. Mr Bentley is desperate to go outside with his daddy to help him with the leaves, but obviously we can't have him running around while we're raking up leaves because he's just going to get in the way. But poor little mite. Anyway, um, busy day again today. So I've got lots and lots of things to do. Um, day job stuff. And also, I need to get tonight's video uploaded ready for six o'clock. So, a busy day. It's Wednesday and it's a quarter to three. And this morning, I've um, lots of day job stuff. So, I've also been doing a few bits and pieces, website updates, getting making notes of what's out of stock and all that kind of thing. I've even had a quick trip to the shops as well to pick up some meat for Mr Bentley. But I've also just finished and just finished filming this lovely little art journal page, which is on a piece of canvas in my Dina Wakeley multi-surface journal. I've also used Dina Wakeley media paints as well. So um, this is also a Dina Wakeley stencil. So it all fits together quite nicely. So that is what I've been up to today so far. Um, like I said, it's quarter to three. I'm just about to pack up and um, wash my hands because I've still got paint on them. Um, and get myself in the car and across to mum and dad's. So I'm going over to see mum and dad tonight, have dinner, take mum shopping, stay over and then I'll be back on Thursday. So I better go and get ready, hadn't I? and the sun is starting to set already and the temperature has dropped considerably. The last few mornings we've had frost on the cars and on the grass so you can tell that we're definitely in the back end of the year now. In fact I bought my first Christmas present this weekend so it's started. Well it has for me anyway. So I'll now start buying stuff um, as and when I see it, just putting it to one side um, so that there's no great big rush when we hit December. It's 7.45 on Thursday the 9th of November and I've just left Mum and Dad's. Um, I didn't feel, well I didn't film anything at mum and dad's last night because um, they've both been having 
let's just call it um, emotional heated discussions surrounding um, the new contactless um, debit cards. So these are the ones where you don't need to put your PIN number in, you just hold the card over the machine to pay. Um, Mum is of the opinion that she could do with one because she keeps forgetting her PIN number and Dad doesn't want her to have one because if she loses it or it gets, she gets mugged or anything like that then the security aspect around it where if somebody can go on a quick shopping spree um, because it's up to £30 here in the UK um, you know so they were having um, emotional discussions about that last night um, so I wasn't I didn't think it was appropriate to um, to film anything so anyway um, they're still friends <laughs> um, but you know one of those kind of situations where you feel like you've walked right into the middle but never mind so it's like I said Thursday morning um, the Sun's pretty much up um, it's wet it's raining it's miserable um, and yeah it's gonna take me at least an hour to get home It's now 10.22 and I'm back safely and I've just gone through my emails and wow, thanks guys, um, your orders that have come in overnight um, has been just fantastic so thank you so much for the support, um, it really is appreciated. Now, um, I've got to do some editing for the project which is going live tonight but also um, I've just remembered it's somebody's birthday tomorrow. Yay. How old are you? 27. 54. How old? 54. Mm, no. Yeah, I'm 55 next year. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> so, yes, so it's somebody's birthday. So, what are you doing with that skull? You're repurposing? Yes, I'm putting light up eyes in it. So, at the back. Right, you remember this was the skull that I created as part of my Seven Days of Halloween project? That one. Um, rather than it go to waste and get just dumped and gather dust, Ian's going to repurpose it and turn it into a machine, a steampunk machine. Yes. So you're going to do your bits and pieces. You've already put a bracket on the bottom already. Look. Yeah. So what else are you going to do with it? I'm going to put valves on it, eyes in it. I'll show you when I've finished. Yes, I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Cool. Definitely. Right, I better get to work, hadn't I? It's quarter past ten on Friday, the 10th of November. A few little errands to run this morning. I've got to go to the post office. Ian has some parcels that he needs to have sent, um, orders from his website. I've got one or two post parcels to post myself, which is nice. Um, I'm also stopping off and purchasing a big chocolate grenache, or ganache, grenache, not sure which way it is, um, birthday cake for somebody because it's Ian's birthday today. So he's already opened up all of his um, birthday cards and some of his presents um, in bed this morning. So I brought him a drinky, um, not alcoholic, cup of tea, um, breakfast and opened all his cards and stuff with him this morning. So he's a very happy bunny today. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I've got a few little jobettes to do Sun shining, it's a nice, bright, clear, autumnal day. Um, and we've got chocolate cake coming. Yay! Can't be bad. Hello, Daddy. Hello! Hey, the beautiful boy. So it's time for the birthday cake. Yay! So only, only three candles. You put 50 foils, set the ceiling on fire. Yes. Look, right. it's not Sheila's, it's Ben else down. <laughs> okay, so are you going to blow the candles out then? Uh, make well, a wish. Just, let's just have a quick look at the cake. Marks and Spencer's best. Yes. Have we got to sing to him though? Yes. I'd rather you didn't, yes. unless you're Adele. No, go on. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Ian. Happy birthday to me. Yay! Right, 
right, get it cut. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. You come to some birthday cake as well? There's a surprise. Yes. There's Have a you come to some no. birthday cake as well, Mr. Bentley? No. no you're more interested no. in that sandwich there, aren't you? I'm cheese and pickle. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, best cake in the world. This from Marks and Spencer's. Can I have a piece without one of the chocolate stars on? You won't get a piece of the chocolate stars. Okay then. Fair enough. We know mine. who's getting the chocolate stars, don't we? The yeah. white one, especially, is mine. <laughs> Thank you. Yummy. Right, well, I suppose before I have the chocolate cake, I suppose I actually ought to have some lunch. Be an idea. Mm. It's Saturday morning, the 11th of the 11th to be precise. At 10.21. 10.21. We're on our way out. Ian needs some new shoes well trainers sneakers sneakers if you like trainers, yes yeah so we're going to go and see if we can get some for him um mr b is with us too in the back there looking all like he doesn't know where he is that's because we put new and clean blankets in there for him this morning so there's no sense or anything on there for him um <clears throat> so it's our missus day today so at 11 a.m um there should be a is it a minute silence or two minutes silence yeah, something like that. So, depending on where we are, obviously we'll try and observe that. So, yes, yeah, so we're on our way to do some shopping. You're all set. Mr. Bentley's got his coat on. Very attractive. With a Burberry tight lining. Very, very posh. So, it's all ready to go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Tell me, do you want to go for a walk? Walkies? There's not enough energy there, no. I think, this morning. It's too early. It is too early. You're all set, eh, Mr. B? You're all set? Look at him watching you put your shoes on. Come on, then. It's all snug and snug and warm. Because it's cold out there this morning. Cold, isn't it, baby? Come on, then. Avanti! I'll see you in a little while. Bye bye now. So now he's taken Mr. Bentley out for a walk, I can go and throw myself in the shower and get dressed. It's 1.30 on Sunday. Now, yesterday, on Saturday, when Ian and I went shopping, um, we picked up a couple of bits and pieces. Went into one of these um, stores, let's just call it a bargain basement store, if you like, and I picked up some of these wooden crafting frames. They're only a pound each. Um, and I thought they're really, really cute uh, little things to create little mini projects with. Um, while I was in there, I also spotted um, some of these. Now this is a tiny little, well you saw it anyway, um, walking past the screen. I bought two and they're really, really cute. And again, they were only a pound each and it worth it just for the box alone. With the boxes with that retro look and feel to the typography and all that kind of stuff are just adorable. I would just have these on a shelf as an ornament, um, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm actually going to use them. I'm going to use the frame. I'm going to use the little robot and I'm going to create a little mini assemblage piece. Now, I haven't done one of these before. This is going to be my very, very first attempt at creating an assemblage piece to use its proper artistic, cultural kind of name. And the age bit at the end harks back to collage because um, art critics and that kind of stuff, or those kind of people, um, say that assemblage has its roots in collage it's all about putting small pieces together to create a larger piece of artwork so those of you out there that think saying the word assemblage is just a posh way of saying assemblage um then that's why it's referred to as assemblage not assemblage because it has its roots in collage apparently so 
So anyway, I'm going to um, have a quick play. I'm going to get some paints out. I'm not going to film it. You've seen the bits and pieces here um, because it's an experimental play piece um, that I'm just going to have a go with and I'll show you it at the end, even if I think it's a complete piece of junk. I will still share it. Okay, so my assembly box is finished and there we have it. I'm really pleased with it, considering it's the first time I've ever done one. I'm very, very happy with the way it turned out. And I did actually end up filming it in the end. So there will be a video coming out for it, if it's not out already. So there you go. That's my Sunday.